Hello, children. I am holding a straw in my teeth, and I will tell you why when we get started. Let's get started. Hello, children. Welcome to Preschool Meeting. I'm so glad to see you. Um, I started off very silly holding the straw in my teeth, and I want to explain why. Yesterday, I was feeling kind of low, and I didn't know why. I thought about it, um, and I couldn't figure out why I was feeling just a little blue, a little melancholy. Um, I did my deep breathing. <sighs> didn't make it any clearer. And after a while, I just thought, I guess I just don't know why. So I went out to my exercise machine in my garage and I did some exercise and I felt better. I still felt a little blue, but I felt better. And so that reminded me that sometimes we are just gonna feel a little sad um, and that's okay. That's just part of life and it doesn't mean we'll feel sad forever. But I also remembered a trick that I once learned. If you are feeling sad and you would like to feel better Pretty quickly, here's something you can try. Take a straw. Um, you could also use a pencil. If it's clean, you'd have to ask your grown-up or something like that. Just anything long like this that's clean that is okay to put in your mouth. Okay, and then open your teeth and hold it. It looks very silly, doesn't it? And you hold it in your teeth for a while, maybe for a minute. Your grown-up could help you time it. And you might find that you feel better. Now, why is that? Well, when we're holding a straw or something similar in our teeth, what are we doing? We're smiling. And just smiling can help you feel better. It can send a message to your brain that, you know, everything's okay. We can be happy. Well, you might want to try it. Anyway, um, I just wanted to have a silly preschool meeting today. So I chose a silly book to read and I hope you enjoy it. Okay children, I would like to read to you Chicken Little and this version is by Mara Alperin, illustrated by Nick East. Hmm, I see on these front pages lots of colorful leaves and acorns. What season is it, do you think? Is this winter? Is it spring or summer? Is it fall? Fall, or also you could call it autumn. Yes, that's when the leaves turn beautiful colors around here and they fall. There's Chicken Little. Cute little chicken, look at the little boots. Uh-oh. Hmm, someone else. On a sunny farm, there lived a fuzzy yellow chick named Chicken Little. He was happy and hoppy, but he wasn't the brightest chicken in the coop. Here's Chicken Little saying, where's my hat? I can't find it anywhere. Where's Chicken Little's hat? Right on his head. Oh, that silly Chicken Little. One warm autumn day, Chicken Little was hop, skip, skipping through the woods when suddenly an acorn dropped from a tree and bounced off his head. Click, clack, clonk. Oh, my feathers, was that a piece of sky? He squeaked, help, oh, help. Trembling, Chicken Little scurried back to the hen house, squawking, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. Was that the sky? <laughs> oh, just an acorn, silly Chicken Little. Ah, this hen is named Henny Penny. You're going to hear a lot of rhymes in this story. What's all this noise, clucked Henny Penny. The sky is falling, panted Chicken Little. It went click, clack, clonk right on my head. Henny Penny dropped her glasses. Goodness, she gasped. We must tell the king. He'll know what to do. So Chicken Little and Henny Penny ran over to the duck pond, squawking and clucking. The sky is falling. We must find the king. You might notice there's a rip in this book. I can fix it later. It just means it's been well loved. This book was in uh, at my school. Lots of children have enjoyed this book. 
Did I hear the sky is falling? Quacked Ducky Lucky. Yes, it fell on my head. Click, clack, clonk, said Chicken Little. What will we do? cried Ducky Lucky. The king will save us, Henny Penny clucked. We must find him at once. So Chicken Little, Henny Penny, and Ducky Lucky dashed off again, squawking and clucking and quacking. The sky is falling. We must find the king. Oh, those silly birds. The sky is falling, gobbled Turkey Lurkey. Quick, take cover, and he leaped into the bushes to hide. There's no time to lose, cried Chicken Little. We must hurry to town to find the king. So Chicken Little, Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, and Turkey Lurkey charged down the path, shouting, the sky is falling, we must find the king. But it wasn't the king they saw. Uh-oh. <gasps> it was Foxy Loxy. What seems to be the matter, my fine feathered friends, grinned Foxy Loxy. The sky is falling, puffed Chicken Little. We must tell the king. Foxy Loxy licked his lips. Poor little birds, he smirked. Come with me. I'll help you find the king. Uh-oh. Do you think he's going to help them find the king? Or does Foxy Loxy have another plan? And so Foxy Loxy led the search for the king. The animals started in the bookstore. The king's not in here, said Foxy Loxy, peeking into a recipe book. Oh, a recipe book. What is that Foxy Loxy planning? And I don't see him here. How frightful, Foxy Loxy muttered. Oh, he's buying spices. It says spice up your dinner. And he's buying an onion. Hmm. Then he's in a store called the cook pot. Oh, he's buying a big soup pot. Now I remember where the king is, Foxy Loxy said with a sly smile. I invited him to my den for dinner. Oh, do say you'll join our feast. Oh, uh-oh. So he bought a recipe book and some spices and a soup pot. Don't worry, my tasty little friends. It's not much farther to my den, chuckled Foxy Loxy, starting to drool. Foxy Loxy opened the door and the birds waddled slowly inside. This says Foxy Loxy, Esquire. Hmm. It was cold and dark in Foxy Loxy's den. I don't see the king, muttered Henny Penny. Maybe he's running late? I can't see anything at all, whispered Chicken Little. Then Foxy Loxy lit the chandelier. That's a fancy lamp that hangs from the ceiling with lots of little lights on it. Only in Foxy Loxy's case, it has candles in it, a chandelier. It's almost time for dinner, he purred. What's for dinner? asked Ducky Lucky. You, cried Foxy Loxy, and he leaped at the birds. Help, they all cried. Help. And they squawked and screeched and fluttered and flapped until the entire den shook and the chandelier fell. Click, clack, clonk onto Foxy Loxy's head. Ooh, that's a big bonk. Yikes, shrieked Foxy Loxy. The sky really is falling, and he dashed away as fast as he could. Now he's being silly. Straight into the king. Greetings, crowed the king. What's this I hear about the sky falling? The entire town is in a flutter. But look, dear friends, the great blue sky is still up there. Chicken Little gazed up, and he saw that the king was right. So the birds hop, skip, skipped under the bright sky all afternoon, and they never saw Foxy Loxy ever again. Oh, looks like Foxy Loxy's going to get taken away where he can't make any more trouble for birds. 
and they could be happy. And they know now, the king has told them, this guy's not following. No. And that is the end. Those silly birds, I hope they learned a lesson. Don't just assume things. Maybe question them a little. If something bonks you on the head, don't just decide that's the sky. Chicken Little could have looked down and maybe, maybe he would have seen the acorn. I hope you like that story. Children, I'd like to do a song with you. This song is called One Bottle of Pop. We use our hands in this song too. In the first part, it has three parts to it. In the first part, we tap our laps and then clap. So we go tap, tap, clap. And the words go like this. One bottle of pop, two bottles of pop, three bottles of pop, four bottles of pop, five bottles of pop, six bottles of pop, seven, seven bottles of pop. For the second part, we make our hands into a little fish. We sing this. Fish and chips with vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Fish and chips with vinegar, pepper, 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 salt. So we're sprinkling the pepper and the salt. And then we put our hands together and we pretend we're throwing a bag over our shoulders and we sing. Don't throw your trash in my backyard, my backyard, my backyard. Don't throw your trash in my backyard, my backyard's full. Can we put those all together? Ready? One bottle of pop, two bottles of pop, three bottles of pop, four bottles of pop, five bottles of pop, six bottles of pop, seven, seven bottles of pop. Fish and chips with vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Fish and chips with vinegar, pepper, 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 salt. Don't throw your trash in my backyard, my backyard, my backyard. Don't throw your trash in my backyard, my backyard's full. And now I'm going to use some technology to try to put those three parts together in a round. A round means we're singing different parts of the song at the same time. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm going to try to do a round. I've actually set up a metronome for myself. Counting on a beat. Because otherwise, it is hard to do, I found out. Okay. One bottle of pop, two bottles of pop, three bottles of pop, four bottles of pop, five bottles of pop, six bottles of pop, seven, seven bottles of pop. One bottle of chips pop, with vinegar, two bottles of pop, vinegar, bottles of pop, four vinegar, bottles of pop. Five Fish bottles and of pop chips with six vinegar. Bottles of pop. Seven, pepper, seven pepper, bottles pepper, of salt. One Don't bottle of chips with two vinegar. Bottles of pop. Yard, three vinegar, bottles of pop. Yard, four vinegar, bottles back, of pop. Yard, five Don't bottles of pop chips with six vinegar. Bottles of pop. Yard, seven pepper, seven pepper, bottles of pop. Old. Children, thank you. I had a nice time at preschool meeting. Um, I really needed a little silly time today. So thank you for indulging me. And I hope you're doing well and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. You know what I just realized that you probably have in your house that you can use and it's already clean? A spoon. <laughs> I feel happier already. Bye. <laughs>